Hi loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. This is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I am a psychic medium. So what's up y'all? Welcome in. <laughs> this is your first time here. Welcome in loves. If not, welcome back. You guys have seen the title. You guys know why you're here. I thank you in advance for supporting the channel, joining the channel, being a part of the channel, liking the video, commenting, all the things. Um, if you do want to book a psychic reading with me or a past life Akashic reading, you could find all the information down below in the description box. All right, so the message uh, right now is um, you have a high level soulmate, okay, coming in to your life. Uh, what I'm getting, what I specifically just heard, um, and this is not going to be for everybody because it's collected, but I specifically just heard within the next four weeks. Okay. So within the next, you know, moon cycle, you know, month, whatever you want to say, you know, I would say probably by landscape, uh, which is August 8th, 8, 8, um, for, for a lot of you guys, you're going to be, uh, meeting someone or reconciling with someone. Um, you know, I feel like there's a lot of I'm going to be doing the divine masculine, divine feminine reading, um, after this, but I feel like, you know, this could be your runner. This could be, uh, you know, div the divine masculine energy, but this is more so for me, a new soulmate energy. This is, uh, someone who's just, what I specifically got is that this is someone who's awoke, like who woke up, um, they've ascended in their own life. Okay. And since they've been ascending and awakening, they've been being called to you okay like literally like looking for you through you know the ethers and and finding you and um i think this is just someone who's meant to come into your life and this is um you have the devil and the eight of swords um which actually brings me to my next point of uh for for many of you guys right there's this high level soulmate coming into your life so this is someone that you know you haven't met yet more than likely in this lifetime um, or if you do, it would be like an acquaintance or someone that you, you know, you don't really know, know this person. Okay. Um, but there is also an energy here of exes circling back. Okay. That would be for me, um, because of the, um, uh, just a lot of like the, the astrological transits going on, but specifically stuff with um, Saturn, Pluto, uh, Neptune going into retrograde um, in a couple days, you know, but for me, we're already like feeling that energy. Um, so it's about like maybe past people that have been living in karma and illusions and things of that nature. Um, those things are falling away, King of Cups, Seven of Cups, as I speak of illusions. Seven of Cups shows up. Smoke and mirrors, right? So there could be some karmic tests. <coughs> throat lock, throat chakra, see? And I'm, I'm super drawn to the, my blue turquoise, you know, bracelet too. Like, even though it's not like the same color as the throat, it's the blue. Um, there could be karmic people from your past looping back around, uh, wanting to talk um, make amends, you know, for some, they just want to apologize. They want to make amends. They just don't want to, you know, leave things unsettled even after years or, or something like that. It's, I just want to bring some kind of closure to this. Okay. So they could be reflecting back and want to reach out. Okay. Now the reason why this is important is because this is about you, you guys, whoever's tuning in. Okay. Um, have you truly learned your lessons when it comes to these past people, karmic partners, karmic situations, you know, uh, are you willing to, you know, you know, what if this person comes back around and it's, it's an ex and like, you know, they're different, they're changed, but there's still some red flags. Like, are you willing, like, are you like so tired of being alone that you're just going to go for that? Or are you going to like hold out until, you know, you receive what you know is aligned to you entirely. Right. So there could be a little bit of that going on too. So just a forewarning, um, before they bring in this true love. Okay. Um, all right. So spirit, tell us about this soulmate. 
Tell us about this soulmate. Tell us about this soulmate. I'm hearing the uh, December, but I got December 23rd. So that could be someone's birthday. Um, King of Swords. And then the star card. Funny too. Aquarius energy, which is that winter energy. And then King of Pentacles, air. You have two kings. And then the star card. Okay, so I asked, can you tell me about the soulmate coming in? And I got two kings and the star card. So it's letting you know that that destiny is aligning and that there's wish fulfillment energy here. All right. She's got her two cups and she's like kind of looking off and she's pouring out these two cups. All right. She's been pouring into herself. Okay. Her, her two of cups has been about herself. She, she fell in love with herself. She's brought balance within herself and now she's calling in her perfect mate, her perfect partner, her perfect match. For some of you guys, it's about, you know, decisions, choices. There could be multiple people coming in for sure. Um, like I said, it could be a runner type energy. Um, but there's multiple people who've got their eyes on you right now. Okay. So, um, yeah, I think this is like a past energy and then like a newer energy. Okay. Um, so, you know, more than likely this is someone who sees you through passing, like on a daily basis somehow, or it's funny. I'm actually being shown like, um, someone driving home from work and it's like, they take the, the same route, you know, home from work and they often end up at a stoplight. Okay. Or like an intersection with a lot of the same cars that take the same route around the same time every day. Okay. So you've become more familiar with the people around you and who you see on a consistent basis, even though they're strangers, right? Well, one of those people is a masculine or a counterpart energy. Okay. Because who I'm, who I'm talking to more than one likely is the feminine energy. It doesn't really matter, but I, I'm specifically seeing like a divine masculine, like someone in like a you know, like a, 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 a truck or, 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 you know, like a, a nice sports car or an SUV, you know, something like that. Um, and they've seen you, they see you. And I'm also seeing like tinted windows. So they could even have like tinted windows where you can't really see them, but they can see you in your car. Okay. Again, this is literally what I was being shown. <laughs> um, so this is for someone, someone out there is going to meet someone like this. Okay, meaning they pull up to you at the stop, at the red light, you know, honk the horn, you roll down, you know, hi, hello, I'm not, I know this is so weird, but, you know, we, I've noticed you for the past several months or whatever, you know, you know, uh, you know, maybe this is your way home from work or something and I don't want to sound weird, but I just think that you're, you know, you're stunning and there's something about you that I'm very drawn to and, you know, I'm just wondering if you might let me take you for a cup of coffee sometime or, you know. You know, something like that, you know, but you only have so long to say it because the light's going to turn green. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and so then they would, you know, the light would turn green and then they would flag you over to the side of the road really quick, you know, um, just to get your digits real fast or whatever, you know. And of course, like always take precaution. Use, you know, I'm not like, I would not like be like, okay, yeah, sure. Let me just pull over on like a, you know, like random like roads, you know. But if it's like an intersection where there's like a ton of people and like, you pull over and you know what I mean? It's like that. But I just, I'm seeing that where it's, it's someone who sees you, like they see you. Okay. So maybe on your social media or like something like that, or at work, you guys work in the same building, but there's different companies throughout the building and you guys see each other in the elevator, you know, a couple times a week, sometimes randomly or whatever, you know? Um, but what this is, is like, it's like one person that's coming towards you is a part of your destiny. And another person coming towards you wants to be a part of your destiny. They want you to be in their destiny. Okay. But they don't, they don't belong there. Okay. Um, it's very much like, you know, like a children's book or like a thing where it's like, you know, you see like a bowl of fruit and there's like an apple and a pineapple and, you know, a banana and grapes. And then there's a, you know artichoke, right? And you're going, which one of these doesn't belong? <laughs> you know, it's like that. It's like that. 
Eight of Cups, yeah. There's someone that you're meant to like completely like turn your back and walk away from. Um, because this person will hang you up again. They will keep you stuck. And I don't think you guys are going to be fooled by the illusions here. No, no, no. No, you're not. No, Queen of Swords. You guys can see right through this stuff, okay? So anyway, so forewarning, right? Um, that I do feel that. I feel that there's some people here that are like reflecting back on the past with you. Um, and they've seen you level up, they've seen you shift, change, glow up, whatever, and they are pining for you. They're longing for you. They feel remorse, regret, you know, um, again, this does not feel like the runner, um, for many of you. This feels like someone, like a karmic energy from your past, okay, or someone who you tried to date or something and it just didn't, it fizzled out. I'm getting fizzled out is the word, okay? fizzled out. It fizzled out, but it fizzled out for a reason. Okay. So anyways, so let's just keep going with the message of the, the, the secret love, this, this, this high level soulmate coming in. Okay. By the way, we have King and Queen of Swords. Sorry guys. I know I'm just like channeling and talking and, and I'm not like really showing the cards, but the cards are just there for backup anyways. <laughs> I'd like to just do my readings without the cards, but strength. The strength in me sees the strength within you. That's what I'm getting. So this is someone who's very strong, uh, strong-minded, strong-willed. Strong-hearted, strong-minded. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, that would make sense with the King of Swords. So the King and the Queen, okay. So this King of Pentacles would be someone who, well, they could be an earth sign from the past. Um, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, but this is someone who, they have not changed. They have not changed, but you have. And they're being very, they wanna like course correct here, but they're very drawn to your light, okay? And I think that this is someone who, suck like they they suck like the life force from you in the past like i think this is someone who like this was a doozy one this one was like someone that you really like loved you 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 thought you loved this person right um but this was before you loved yourself so really what it was was you were codependent on this person and when um when 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 things fizzled out or went away it was like it was really difficult for you to get over this person Okay. And I think this person, I don't know, I'm just getting someone very arrogant, someone who just thinks they're the, you know, God's gift to women type. Like I can get anyone I want, like this and that, you know, um, they may have been, you know, um, deceptive to you or they just held back. They were stubborn, whatever it was. Right. But this person has not changed. Okay. So, um, I just, I'm, it's, it's coming through very heavily because you guys are like this other person who is a match, who's someone on your level is coming in. And I'm telling you, you guys do not get swayed by lower, you know, vibrational energies. Um, no matter how sharp their tongue is, meaning no matter how like swaying their words are, their demeanor is there, you know, of course you do what you want free will, but I can feel it. I can feel it. This could also be for some of you guys, a, a new person too, that comes in with that kind of an energy. They're very drawn to your light. They're in the shadow, you know, they're not, you know, so they want to pull on your light. Again, one here belongs and the other one doesn't. But you showing up here as the Queen of Swords, it definitely shows me that you guys are not, that there's an owl in the photo with her and dragons on her throne. Um, she sees from a very, very high perspective. She's got that dragon's vision. You know what I mean? Um, she's also very protected by the divine. There's all this other stuff. Um, but the owl, can basically, I think, almost all the way spin their head around 360 degrees, right? They can see all the way, right? Um, so owls are known to see everything as it is, right? They're, they're night animals too. So they can see through the dark, through the shadow, through the illusion, 
you see? So I don't think you're gonna have an issue seeing this, but for some, it might come through as a, a slickster type energy, all right? Um, you know, I mean, shoot, this could even be for some of you guys, it, maybe it is for some, the runner showing up, but they're not, they're still in that ego energy, right? Do not just go for this person because they come in and communicate, like who cares? Like. Are they showing up? Are they being vulnerable? Have they learned their lessons? Are they still holding back? This right here, he has half that pentacle hidden. He's not show, He's not ready to give the whole thing away. There's still selfishness attached to this in that regard, okay? So use caution, and I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys, I'm, because there's a lot happening in the month of July, um, and I did hear over the next four weeks that this like soulmate could be coming in, this one that is a part of your destined path, right? Um, but I think that whoever this other energy is from your past, they can sense that somehow, okay, somehow. Um, and they, and like I said, there's a lot of that like Saturn energy and, you know, it's just them um, reflecting back on like the things that, you know, they've, they've done wrong or, or messed up with, you know. So <clears throat> just, you know, forewarning, even if this person has changed, like the past is the past for the most part, for a reason. You know what I mean? There's lessons there. There was things that needed to be dealt with and confronted and healed. And you've done that work for the most part, right? So we don't go backwards. We don't, we don't backpedal, right? Now, if this is your twin flame or something like that, that's a little different because it's a different kind of journey. And that's the kind of stuff that is a part of the journey. You know what I mean? And but still, there's no guarantee that you guys end up together or that they will circle back or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, you just never know. Free will, right? Uh, but anyways, okay. So let me go ahead and pull on this Queen of Swords and King of Swords. I'm seeing the Moon card. I'm seeing the Moon card. So more like nighttime energy, intuition. It could be illusions. It's also about what's being hidden. This person is is hiding they're hiding like I mean look like he's even got like a a wizard hat on you know and his eyes are like shaded underneath you know like he's almost hiding under his hat back in his throne and she's the opposite she's very exposed she's kind of upright she's you know sitting like it's just kind of different so um I feel like whoever this is they see you somehow you know maybe you frequent a restaurant regularly and you know they work I, I don't know maybe at the restaurant or Maybe they own the restaurant or, you know, maybe they walk, work nearby and they see you walk by often and they're just like, damn, you know, there's, it's something like that. Literally, it's like, like someone like putting their sunglasses down, like, damn, you know what I mean? Like that. You stop this person dead in their tracks. Three of cups, bottom of the deck. This is your soul tribe. This is a, yep, this is a powerful soulmate coming in, the Three of Cups. It's a reunion of souls, okay? This is you, and I was just speaking of a restaurant, so maybe, I, I have no clue, maybe this person is a bartender, or, you know, I don't know. I, I feel like this would, you know, I feel like this would be someone who sees you, like, behind the scenes somehow, like, maybe not so in your, in, in your face, but it absolutely could be. Like, like maybe they watch you online again. Like maybe they follow you on Instagram and you don't really know this person at all. Like maybe they're from a different part of the world and they just started following your account and, you know, they're just like one of your, you know, 3,000 followers or something. <laughs> I don't know, right? Um, and they're just like enamored by you, okay? And then they shoot their shot and boom, sparks fly. You never thought this would happen. You know, it's very... Um, It's just, it's, it's, it's shocking is, is what I get. Okay. But it's absolutely aligned. This is a time of you receiving wish fulfillments and destiny. It's the hermit and the six of pentacles. So yeah, this person could be a Virgo. Okay. We have Leo and Aquarius for uh, major arcanas um, and Pisces and Pisces. Uh, the Hermit and Six of Pentacles. And then the Ace of Cups. There it is. Okay. So, yeah, this is someone who is very wise, very intelligent, King of Swords energy. The Hermit, um, this is someone who, 
you know they have gone through their own dark times they've gone through their own shadow periods they are um, following the voice of their soul when it comes to you when it comes to you what they what they see with you what they sense in you what they feel with you there's something here where they're just like, I got to shoot my shot. If I don't, I will regret it forever. You know, I don't want to like go through life thinking, what if, you know what I mean? Um, you know, what's the worst that can happen? This person doesn't even know me. They're already not in my life. Like, you know, I shoot my shot and they say no, like, you know, but I do feel like a, a confident energy here. I really do. So I do feel that this is someone who's like that. Like they're just, they're, they're smart intelligent you know they don't what i'm kind of getting is this would be someone who's actually typically um pretty uh reserved like their personality doesn't feel reserved but they're reserved with 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 like dating and stuff like that like they're you know they they don't they don't do it very often or they're you know i'm hearing i'm not good at it <laughs> as i'm hearing i'm not good at it um, so maybe that's how you felt too, you know, like I was not good at this whole thing. Like I got to work on me and love myself and now I'm good at it. Now I'm ready. Now I can do this, you know? There's the full moon here in the, uh, in the hermit card. Um, and we are a pro and it's right here in the, uh, eight of cups card. Two full moons here. It's like you guys have both come full circle in your lives and then this person comes in at the right moment and you guys are the perfect match and then everything aligns and the stars align, star card, and boom, love begins. Are you ready to receive this love offer that's coming towards you? Because it is. It's totally coming towards you. This person thinks you're fierce. She's fierce. I, that's why she's so like sitting like the way she is. And he's like kind of, you know, he's, you know, not like not confident, but he's just sitting a little bit more slouched kind of or something. Maybe more relaxed. I don't know. But it just feels like this person sees you and they just, they have you on this like throne, this pedestal. They're just like, this person is powerful. This person is you know, very good looking. This person is, is, is intellectual and, and full of wisdom and strong. And, you know, they, there's definitely an energy here of good, 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 good. Like they are like, you're everything, you're it, you're all of all things, all things, all things. Right. But like I said, beware, because there could be some people coming towards you that might view you as that as well. Um, but they just don't carry the right, you know, energy to be a fulfillment to you or to meet you on your level. You know what I mean? They're just more so drawn to all those things because they lack them instead of embody them. This person that I'm talking about, you guys, you're a match. This person embodies that type of energy, which is why they're so in awe of you, okay? Um, I don't know why, but for some of you guys, I'm getting like really heavy, like a doctor, like someone who went to medical school, um, you know, like, I don't know, I don't even know, like Stanford, like, you know, Johns Hopkins, Harvard, like, I have no clue, but this is someone who they see you. Um, I'm also hearing LinkedIn. So I don't know if you guys are on LinkedIn. Um, I used to have a LinkedIn a long, 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 long time ago, you guys, like I'm talking like, you know, 13, 14 years ago, 15 years ago or whatever. Um, and I just had to do it because I was, I had this one, you know, matrix job as a tech recruiter. Um, and I say that because it was a matrix job. It was very political and, you know, I'm not saying like every environment is like that, but for the most part, yeah, they, they are, they can be right. Um, unless you have like just that different energy and vibe going or there's different people, but like, anyways, it was just super just, uh, you know what I mean? And, uh, I did not excel in it because I could not be that fake. You know what I mean? Um, but why am I bringing that up? LinkedIn. Um, so I had to do a LinkedIn profile because they made me, because you had to for what we did, you know, to, to network with other, you know, people, you know, uh, for hiring and stuff like that. You know, like that's how we would find like 
you know, like, you know, not how, but one of the, one of the tools to be used to find, you know, the, the p people that uh, met the requirements for the positions I was trying to fill for these other, you know, big companies and stuff like PayPal and Facebook and eBay and, you know, stuff like that. Right. Um, <laughs> this was like right when like Facebook like got big too. It was like right when Facebook got big. I had to start like my Facebook page around that time too. Um, anyways, it's just funny. That's just funny. Walk down memory lane. But anyway, so maybe that's resonant. Maybe you're a tech recruiter or you work in the tech field. Maybe this person does. Um, maybe, you know, it has something to do with technology where maybe you're a content creator or a, you know, a digital creator, um, you know, like that, uh, an influencer, you influence this person. This person has been influenced by you. I will, I will tell you that. Um, This card is so funny. Every time I see it, I'm just like, this card is, she's like the sexy teacher. This is like every like man's fantasy right here. There you go. Yeah, see, like, even as I'm saying that, the devil's right there on the bottom of the deck. It's like every every man's like fantasy, like, oh, the naughty teacher, the naughty nurse, you know, like that. Okay, but what I'm getting is like, this is that. Like this person fantasizes about you. Like there's, they fantasize about what it would be like to like to, to make love to you, to sleep with you, to like, you know, be with you. Like, what if this was my person? Like, what would that look like? What would that be like? Like, I wonder what they're like, you know, waking up in the morning. I wonder what kind of food they like. I wonder, and this person is super curious about you. In fact, I'm surprised that I don't have the page of wands out here or something like that. Um, you know, but Hey, we have the King, the Hermit. Um, we have the devil Capricorn energy here. Um, oh, that's what I'm getting is look out for the devils. Watch out for the devil. I've already said, Okay, this, you know, it could be opposite energy. It doesn't, ha it doesn't have to mean that the person coming towards you that's a part of your destiny is an air sign and a king of swords and that's it. And that's, you know, no, it's just whoever this other person is, whether they're an earth sign, uh, it doesn't matter. This person is someone who is, they were partly in in the past and partly out and they never fully gave their whole self to the connection, to the relationship, or to you, or they weren't just ready to, to give, but now they want to, or now they see something that they didn't see before, and now they want to, but it's a big fat, like that by the universe. But hey, like I said, you have your free will. Devil energy. Beware of the devils, no matter how shiny the pentacle, no matter how golden and, and you know, gem encrusted and gorgeous and expensive and, you know, all the things that this pentacle is, that pentacle is tainted with the devil energy. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Okay. But once, and this isn't for every single person, not every single person is going to have, right? This is collective. It's not personal. But for a lot of you guys, I do see it. I do see it. There's these past people who are not supposed to be in your life and they keep looping back around or it's someone in particular who loops back around who maybe you haven't seen in a long time right and the universe is going no more are you ready to receive this true divine reunion of souls are you ready to receive this true love offer well if you are then we have to see through this okay and we have to leave energetic space for him to arrive okay like even if you're someone who's single but like you're talking to like you know multiple people which is nothing wrong with that you guys but like you know when our energy is so tied up with like other people and like you know it doesn't leave energetic space and feng shui for the real shit to arrive you see so you know for me i'm like i'm not gonna sit here and play small and play with peanuts you know i'm gonna I'm going to love on myself and be single and celibate and do all the things until my divine counterpart comes into my life, which for a lot of us divine femmes, man or woman, it doesn't matter. You've started ascending. You're reconnected to your higher self. You're loving on yourself. You're, you're in a very uh, abundant, fertile, you know, mode in life. You know, there's a lot of growth in your life, a lot of growth within self. Um, people see it, you, you know, you're, you're, you give off a different vibe, a different essence, a different frequency, you know, a different like nurturing, compassionate kind of loving energy. It doesn't matter what, uh, you know, it, what you are as far as your, your, your man or woman, it's, we all embody these energies, right? 
Um, which I know, I know you guys know that, but there's definitely someone here that's like confused by that. So that's why I felt compelled to explain. Um, like how can you be a man, but in the Empress energy? Well, the same way, you know, I was in my emperor energy when I started my channel. I had to strategize. I had to plan. I had to take action. I had to put in the work. You know what I mean? To to be in the energy mode of receiving. I had to put in the work and co-create, right? Okay, same thing. All right. Oh, shit, you guys. Look who showed up. There's the page of wands. There he is. There he is. So th there could be someone, you know, I feel that for the most part, this is someone who is around your age maybe a little bit older, but for some of you guys, this could indicate someone being a little bit younger. Okay. But that's what I said. I said that, you know, this is someone who's thinking a lot. They're curious. They're, you know, wonder in wonderment going, you know, I just, I don't know. Like I saw this person and I can't get them off my mind. Or this is one person who, you know, throughout the years, I've never been able to forget, you know, um, I'm going to shoot my shot and I'm going to try, you know, giving it, you know, uh, another try, you know, um, because that could be the, the case too, for some, where this is like an acquaintance from, from 20 years ago, right? Where you'd never dated, you never, you know, maybe you just met like one time or twice through a friend of a friend and maybe it was at like a party and, you know, but somehow that universe lines you two up again together. And now it's divine timing where it, it's, it's the door is open for you guys to actually connect the way that you are meant to, or were meant to, right? Um, but either way, this person that's coming in is new. And the Page of Wands speaks of that. It speaks of fresh energy. The pages are young energy. You know, for me, that's a new beginning type energy. Um, it's very much the pages very much connect to me um, as a reader to the aces. You know what I mean? Because it's like the, the fresh energy, the new energy, the new beginning type energy. You know, there's good news here and a lot of passion coming your way. Okay, someone's birthday could be on the 3-3 portal, March 3rd. I'm just getting 3-3, but I'm seeing it like a date, like 3-3, three three, you know? Um, so let's go ahead and get a couple of Romeo and Juliet cards here and see what wants to come through. Um, but anyways, loves, this is what I have for you. So, you know, take what is for you and just leave the rest. But I'm telling you guys, like, this, like, this high level soulmate energy, this match here. And that's why we started out with the star card. And, you know, because it was showing you like, yeah, destiny is approaching, but we started with the star card and then two Kings. It could be destiny is approaching and there's multiple people who, who see you as destiny for them, or, you know, they, they associate that to you, like a destined energy. You're someone that I could spend my life with. You're someone that I you know, I've been searching for that I, I just feel like, you know, so, but I'm telling you, there's at least one bad apple for some of you guys that is circling back around and you know what I mean? Like bad apple, maybe they are, I don't know, but you know, they don't have to be like terrible, but it's something where it's not good. It's again, the fruit bowl with the artichoke. It's one of these, one of which one of these doesn't belong, you know, just like I said. Okay. So it's a time of discernment. It's a time of you um, just continuous, continuously like leveling up within yourself. Know that the higher that you rise, like the faster this stuff like comes in, you know? Um, it's like if you're staying in uh, alignment, you're not like getting in like bouts of fear and, and, and resistance and anxiety and worry and, you know, all these things, right? It's going to start happening very quickly, okay? And it already is because you guys, have, for many of you guys, you are there. You've gotten there, Okay. Um, so let's see what this is that came out. It's marriage, a wedding, matrimony, and wedlock. I told you guys. And then fear, as I'm talking about not letting yourself get in that energy. But this is also about someone who sees you as marriage material, but they are fearful. Okay, because of just, you know, you're very exceptional. Whoever I'm talking to, you're very exceptional. You're very different. You're very unique. Okay, you are not a basic bitch. You are not a basic bitch just not we are not basic we are very different you know because we are we are aligned because we we see things from a higher perspective we connect in a different way right so 
A lot of people are going to be drawn to that. They're attracted to it. But a lot of times it is the frequency. It is our light that they are drawn to. Um, you know, but anyways, yeah, look at this, you guys. I mean, you can't make it up, right? You can't make it up. Ace of Cups, the Star card, Three of Cups, plus... Okay, and the Page of Wands, by the way, is like, I'm going to do it. You know, he's fearless. He, 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 he shoots his shot. He takes, you know, he's very much like... I'm ready for my adventure, okay? Um, all of this energy goes to this, okay? So it is like the stars aligning and bringing you in this perfect match. It's funny too, because I just uploaded a message um, this morning, or I just recorded a message this morning that was like the mountains are being removed, the blocks are being removed, you were meant for more all along. And it's a really good message. And it's, you know, not about love, it's about other things. But it is about that where like you're meant for these bigger things and these, you know, and, uh, you know, no, no more settling, no more, you know, cause that's what self-love is about. It's like, I love myself too much to let myself be in this or to do this or to accept this, you know, I, I just, I can't, it just doesn't resonate with me anymore. You know, me five, 10 years ago. Yeah, sure. I would have, I would have taken this person back over and over and over again. Cause I didn't love me. I would have let them continuously wreak havoc in my life with their devil energy, right? But now, no more, okay? So, you know, it is what it is, <clears throat> but the one marriage, okay? So it's like a high roast gamos thing, a soul marriage, a real marriage, holy matrimony, exchanging of vows. It's act two, scene six, okay, in uh, Romeo and Juliet. And uh, it says, for by your leaves, you shall not stay alone till Holy Church incorporate two in one. So funny, too, because if you guys have been here with me for about, you know, the past like month or so, that is a phrase that I keep channeling and hearing nonstop to become one, to become one to become one. And I keep telling you guys, it's coming, it's coming. And everyone's on different timelines. So it's going to be happening for everyone at different, you know, even though I'm holding on the current energy, but I'm telling you, you guys do not fear, do not have concerns, worry, or doubt about this. Okay. It is coming, but this is more so about what someone else is feeling approaching you. Okay. I'm telling you, you guys, this is someone who they could be like Christian Gray, okay? They could be like Christian Gray, and 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 they see you, and they're just like, oh my gosh, like, what's my name again? How do I approach? What do I say? Oh, you know, the most confident person, emperor, like you know, king of swords, like you know, and you can, they're weak in the knees. I'm hearing a uh, Vince Gill. I get weak in the knees. And I lose my breath, though I try so hard. What do you say? The words won't come, I'm so scared to death. But when you smile, that smile, the world turns upside down. Whenever you come around, <laughs> I get weak in the knees and I lose my breath. I know you guys, I know I should quit the channel and stop being a psychic medium and go, you know, start my own record, whatever, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love too. when like I, I see comments and it's so funny. I love you guys. Cause you guys know I have like a personality, like, you know, I, I have a sense of humor, right? And I've like, I, I was like some of the best comments I swear, like on my singing are like, like, you know, oh, I'm, I'm just here for the singing. <laughs> I'm just here for the music. <laughs> I love it. I die. Um, okay. Anyways. So, and then you have social events, establish contact. Look at that social events, establish contact An invitation and fellowship. Okay. So marriage fear and then social events. <clears throat> this person might have like a wedding or some type of social event or something coming up where maybe it's, you know, a plus one or, you know, it's wedding season. So maybe they have a friend's wedding to go to, or I don't know, but I'm getting that with the social events. It's like, maybe you go to a wedding, maybe you go to a wedding, maybe you're meant to go to a wedding this summer, or, you know, it's a friend or a family member or one of your siblings, or you know what I mean? And maybe at the wedding, 
okay? You meet the love of your life. This person comes in and it's just like, whoa, right? Stars align at the right moment. But I think for a lot of you guys, this is someone who can see you somehow already or they know who you are or they see you in passing. Like, you know, there's something like that. Like maybe you walk your dog, you know, maybe you walk your dog and you take the same you know, walk through your neighborhood and down the same streets. And maybe there's someone that lives nearby and they see you walk by a lot and they're just like, wow, one of these days I'm going to shoot my shot with that person, you know, and then they finally do and the stars align and it's happily ever after, you know, you just never know. Right. So, um, that could be a part of the message of the title that I do. So you just never know. You just never know, right? Um, so anyways, let me go ahead and just tie up the message with some romance angels. I send you guys so much love and light. I thank you guys so much for, for joining with that reconciliation is on the bottom of the deck. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clarify the king of swords, the queen of swords, and the ace of cups. Along with the star card. The stars aligning. Destiny is here. Okay. Someone's name could be Destiny. Um, uh, Destiny's Child, a song by them might be resonant to you, or maybe you're just a huge fan, but I'm getting Destiny. Also, Destin, Destin, Florida. That could be a sync for some of you guys. Um, you know, I know it's a pretty beautiful vacation spot. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I'm just getting all of that. I will say, you guys, that you guys have been very patient learning self-love and all these things and that was a part of your lessons too was patience you know it's like you know true love is something that you don't rush it's not something that you force it's not something that you know it, it just it grabs a hold of you and it won't let you go and it's you can't explain it you don't know what it is you know it's all that stuff right um, but all you know is that this person is, is just, they've got a hold on you in, in the most beautiful way. You know what I mean? This is not someone that's got a hold on you and it's toxic and codependent and they bring you down all the time. And you know, it's, it's a polar opposite of that. And that's what this person senses within you, feels within you, sees within you. Okay. This is someone who puts a lot of thought into something here. Okay. Make the effort. Yeah. Very soon, there it is, very soon, your person will show up. I, I specifically heard within the next four weeks. But again, you guys, this does not, you know, if I'm doing a personal reading and I give timing, you know, in personal readings and stuff like that, that's very different. Um, and I'm very good at that. But as far as like, you know, a collective message, it, I'm just, for a lot of you guys, it'll start happening with over the month of July, period. From this, now if you watch this, you know, in the middle of the winter, like four years from now, whatever, then it's within the next four weeks, right? Okay, beautiful. Um, all right, guys, so I send you guys love and light. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I send you guys love and light. I thank you so much for all of your love and support. Um, this, this card does say clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So this person, whoever they are, like this is very clear to them. And when they approach you or when they shoot their shot with you, no matter how you meet this person or how they align into your 3D reality, um, they are going to be, they're going to use their words, okay? They're going to use their words. They are not going to hide or be, you know, they're going to use their words and they are, because they know without a shadow of a doubt, you are special and you are not someone who's replaceable and you touch their soul, their heart in some kind of way. It's like, I don't know you, but I feel like I do somehow. It's that. Okay. So very soon. All right. So also for those of you guys manifesting out there. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Let your friends help you. Let spirit help you. I was just going to say for those of you guys who are really like manifesting, you're affirming a lot, like specific things you're, you're, you know what I mean? Um, cause we're all manifesting no matter what, every second of every day, like our thoughts, everything, everything, everything because becomes something right. So, but I'm talking about like intentional manifesting, that kind of stuff. Right. Um, what I was going to say was like, give it up to spirit, give it up to source and clearly decide what it is that you want. Right. Um, that's what I'm getting from the universe. That's like that, like more precise with what it is that you want, but not like, not too precise. Like, Oh, I want a lover and they have to have black hair and green eyes and a beard and this or that, or this or that, or, right? Like, 
<laughs> right? Like you can, you can know what you like and know what you want, but if you know what you like and you know what you don't like, you're already sending that signal out, right? So it's like, and there's something with that. Okay, so I don't know. Okay, that's just for some of you guys. Um, but let your friends help you and then look at that past life relationship. You have known each other before. Yep, you have. Yes, you have. This is definitely that energy of past life soulmate energy, okay? And for some of you guys, like I said, this could be someone from the past that, you know, I'm not, I'm not talking about the toxic person, karmic or whatever from the past who, who might be coming up or coming through along with this person. I'm talking about this person. They might be someone, like I said, an acquaintance of passing, two ships passing through the night kind of a thing from 10 years ago, 20 years ago. And then some way, somehow, maybe at a social event, a birthday party, a 4th of July party, I have no clue, right? You're there, there's a big, large gathering, barbecue, everyone's having fun, pool party or something, right? And boom, that person's there. And it's like, how do I know that person? They seem so familiar to me. And then they come up and they approach, hi, do you remember me? We met like 20 years ago. I'm such and such. We met at such and such, you know? It's like that. So I'm telling you guys, get ready. Um, I send you guys love and light. Like I said, um, if you want to book anything with me, it's all down below. Also right now for a limited time, um, just because I went through and I started like scheduling people and this and that, right? Like I'm seeing like how many people I can work with and, and I'm gauging all of that. Right. So it's, 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 I, I still have spaces available for my tarot lessons for, um, if you want to learn to, to, to channel, read, do the tarot. Um, this is also about opening up your gifts. Okay. So I really, I'm really big on that. You guys, if you've been with me, you guys know how I read and you know, my psychic medium stuff. Like it's like, the, like I said, the cards just are confirmations and back it up, right? This, what I'm talking about is like, we're going to help you connect. We're going to help you channel and read. Okay. Um, and then you'll, you're, you'll be blown away. Anyone that's ever done this and worked with me, they're just like, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm like, I know, is it amazing? Um, so it's all down below. Um, there's a few different options. There's lots of, you know, I put a whole thing for the details description, but if you don't feel like, you know, Oh, I feel like guided to work with you, Erica, like on a spiritual level, um, like maybe mentor and just help open me up in like different things and you know, different stuff. Right. We can do that too. It'll be spiritual mentoring instead of like the tarot lessons. Even the tarot lessons, we do a lot of the spiritual mentoring too, right? So anyways, whatever floats your boat, whatever you feel guided to, it's all below, okay? I love you guys. Mwah. Bye.